Hello, everyone. This is Brother Osmond Walk once again. I uh, just want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Kapodash. It's all praise to the Heavenly Father and His Son's name, who the world evenly called Jesus Christ. Real name in Hebrew, Yahweh Shah. I also give a praise, honor, and glory to the Holy Spirit as well, which is the force and entity that makes this edification possible. I want to say shalom to all you sincere hearted Akim and Akwathas, make your bodies a living sacrifice on a daily basis. Right? I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, GMS, who taught us truth and rule well. And uh, this is going to be very, very short. I just want to, uh, this video is basically just going to be a response uh, to clarify, you know, a statement that was made in uh, my previous camp lesson. I want to say, what was that, Tuesday, either Monday or Tuesday. And I uh, <clears throat> want to get a scripture on it, you know, to basically, you know, clarify, you know, make sure that, you know, there wasn't any type of, uh, you know, confusion, you know, from uh, on the part of the listeners. So let me, uh, let me play this clip. Then we'll get a scripture to uh <clears throat> to basically uh hold on so like let me share the screen we'll get a scripture to clarify it so let's play it real quick kids they've been here before right and they was wicked in their past life and he brought them back there's no coincidence why earth is overly pop so-called it's not overly populated but according to the elite is overly populated and this is pretty much the main point you know uh you know, earth is not overly populated. Um, you know, the Lord, as we're going to get in scriptures, has set, you know, life here in intervals. You know, there's a certain amount of spirits in the spirit world. Uh, and there's a certain amount of spirits here walking, you know, uh, the earth right now. And scriptures talk about how the Lord has done this in intervals. You know, uh, the earth cannot hold, at least not in this, this current rulership, cannot hold or yield all of its strength. Right. There's no, there's no coincidence, man, because the Lord has brought all these spirits back for what? For the day of judgment, man. Sure. And I just want to uh, basically clarify that specific uh, point there, you know, um, bringing all the spirits back. Now, we know, you know, we see what's going on. Massive judgment is happening right now, or at least the beginning of judgment is happening right now. So you got, you know, just like, for example, you had that, that, that rapper, uh, Young Dolph, you know, he just got murked, you know, so obviously... He's not going to be here on the day of judgment, right? But these are the times of vengeance. This is the time of judgment. But, you know, just the point is that their spirits are already in the spirit world. You know, uh, the, you know, all of the earth's inhabitants, all the spirits are not here on earth. You know, I just want to, you know, bring this out just to clarify, you know, just in case there's any type of misunderstanding. Right? There's a reason why the, the, uh, the spirit calls those, uh, the old, the old people, you know, in the, uh, what, what time period was that? Like the forties, you know, the fifties, uh, to where you had that term called the baby boomers. There's a reason why the Lord created that, that season of the baby boomers, All right? To bring them same wicked ass spirits back, man. So he can hasten this thing up. Look. All right. So let me get scripture. This is second Ezra chapter five. And, uh, we'll start right here. Verse, uh, <clears throat> verse 42. We're going to read it in KJV first, and then we'll get in uh, GNT. GNT does a pretty good job, um, you know, kind of uh, help clarify this. But it says, uh, and he said unto me, I will liken my judgment unto a ring, right? And what is a ring like? It, You know, it goes around, comes around. And that's how the Lord's judgment is now. Everything, you know, within planet Earth, it, it recycles. And this is also a good way to, to prove uh, reincarnation or regeneration. You know, there's nothing new under the sun, right? He says, like as there is no slackness of the last, even so there is no swiftness of the first. So I answered and said, couldst thou not make? And this is Ezra, you know, asking the heavenly father a question. He says, and so I answered and said, couldst thou not make those that have been made and be now? So basically he's saying, could you not have made those that were in the past come back right now that are for to come at once? that thou mightest show thy judgment the sooner? Then he answered me. So now the Most High is answering him and said, the creature may not haste above the maker, All right? Neither may the world hold them at once that shall be created therein. So all these spirits, you know, will not be able to basically uh, be held within earth. All right? According to the heavenly father, he says, at least not in this world. He says, and I said, as thou hast said unto thy servant, that thou which givest life to all has given life at once to the creature that thou hast created and the creature bear it 
even so it might now also bear them that now be present at once. And he said unto me, ask the womb of a woman and say unto her, if thou bringest forth children, why does it not yet together? So like, why does thou it not together, but one after another? So basically when a woman gives birth, you know, she has, you know, say she has twins or multiple children inside her womb, she just can't push all those kids out at once. It happens in intervals. You know, it says, pray her, therefore, to bring forth 10 children at once. And I said, she cannot, but must do it by distance of time. See that? So it's done in intervals. Then said he unto me, even so, I have given the womb of the earth to those that be sown in it in their time. See that? So, you know, just like I said, just want to clarify. Obviously, you know, we should know. Uh, you know, that judgment is happening every day. Let me get this in Zephaniah 3. Verse 5, he says, Yahweh is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning that he bring his judgment to light, he faileth not, but the unjust knows no shame. You know, and, you know, you can wake up every morning, you can turn on the, the, the TV, look at the news or check your phone and you'll see uh, you know, five dead in, in, in Louisiana, five dead in Texas, you know, uh, infant and the mother died in a car wreck, you know, every day, you know, judgment is going on, you know, so we already, you know, you should know that there are spirits in the spirit world right now, so everyone is not going to be here on, all the spirits are not going to be here on planet earth, you know, how a shot comes back, so let me, um, let me get one more, I'm, I'm going to get this in the GNT real quick, like I said, I just really wanted to make sure this is clarified, you know, I don't want to, uh, have any of you aqua confused out there, you know, thinking that everybody is here. But that's not the case, because even Revelation chapter 6 speaks about how, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 speaks about how we're going to, how the uh, how the elect is going to meet, you know, the elect that have, you know, been martyrs or, or uh, you know, other elect members in the air when Yahweh Shot comes back, you know. So even all the elect are not here on earth. All right, there's already some in the spirit world, but he says, verse 42, so like, I'm going to get this in verse 41 in the GNT, second there's just five. Then I said, but Yahweh power, your concern is with the people who will be alive at the end of the world. What will happen to those who live before that time? What about us? What about those who came before us and those who will live after us? So Ezra was just, you know, he was just asking the most high, you know, some questions concerning the times that we're living in now, you know, the times of judgment. He answered me. The, he answered me. The final judgment can be compared to a circle. And just as a circle has no beginning or end, so those who come early will not be too early. And those who come late will not be too late. Why? Because what goes around comes around. There's, there's a, a perpetual cycle going on. I replied, but couldn't you have created all human beings? those of the past, the present, and the future, so that they could, so we would all live at the same time, and that way you could have your final judgment sooner? He answered, the creation cannot move faster than the creator, and besides, the world wouldn't have been able to hold all the people if everyone had been created at the same time, see that? Why then, I ask, did you just now tell me that one day you would bring back to life at the same time every creature that ever lived. If the world can hold them all, then it could hold them all now. He answered, that would be like asking a woman who has given birth to 10 children why she didn't have them all at once instead of one at a time. That would be impossible, I answered. She can't have them all at once. In the same way, he continued, I have made the world like a womb like a womb so that it produces human beings at regular intervals. See that? I'm going to show you that we're not all here at the same time. The rule that neither a young child nor an old woman can give birth to a baby also applies to the world I have created. And I said, since you have brought up the subject, may I ask if the world you have been talking about is still young or is it approaching old age? I'm just going to finish the rest out you know, just for edification's sake, you know, in this context, he replied, you can learn the answer from any woman who has given birth to several children, several children. Ask her why her younger children do not grow as tall as her older children. 
she would tell you that those born while she was young and healthy are much more stronger than those born when she was old and becoming weak. You will notice that you were smaller than people of earlier generations. Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, and I can testify to that, man, you know, just looking at, you know, some of the older people in my family, you know, man, they're much stronger, much bigger, much more, uh, much, you know, feel which much more vitality, you know, than the newer generation of my family are, man. You know, they were just built a certain type of way. Why? Because the earth was younger in their times. You know, it had more strength, you know. So the this is why we got, you know, the, this is why we got to get up out of this predicament that we in because we're the earth is so weak, you know, especially under the watch and rain of Esau, that it cannot here and if if we were to be here, you know, uh 50 more years or hundred more years, man, we will all be dead. You know, this earth is decrepit, is weakened, you know, everything is poisoned. You know, so this is this another way how we know Yahweh Shah, you know, is coming very, very soon, man, to, to basically preserve, you know, uh, his creatures, particularly the elect. He says, you will notice that you were smaller than people of early generations. Those who come later will be smaller still. This shows that creation is already getting old and losing the strength of her youth. If you please, Lord, I ask Will you show me the one who threw, who threw whom you will bring judgment on your creation? Yeah, we know that's Yahweh Shah. John chapter 5. Yahweh Shah says that uh, the Father judges no man, but he has committed all judgment unto me, man. So, yeah, that's pretty much it on that. I just wanted to, uh, you know, to make sure that that was clarified, you know, just in case anyone had any questions on that. Um, so, yeah, uh, Lord willing, I was edifying to next time. DTA, blah, blah, blah. Shalom.